beauty babes, I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today I have just a really quick, hopefully quick, mini Sephora haul to share with you guys. Uh, normally I don't do like crazy hauls or haul videos. Um, I kind of feel bad about haul videos. I mean, I love to watch them, don't get me wrong. I think they're so enjoyable. But part of me feels bad about doing haul videos sometimes because I feel like I'm like encouraging over shopping and overspending and or kind of showing off like hey look at this blah 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 but I know people like to watch them and I love to watch them it's more so just exciting to see the things that people purchase places and I mean we're all makeup lovers so I mean yeah so I don't know why I had to felt like I had to do that ex that disclaimer but um yeah there it is so anyways this is just a really really um small haul that I have to share with you um I actually had a couple gift cards um, that I've been holding on to for a little while. One I got for my birthday, and my birthday was back in August, and I have been holding on to it because I knew there were a few things that I would want to get, like, in during the holiday season so I literally waited for months before buying anything and I really only got a few things but even still like you guys know before it gets expensive real quick in a snap so yeah let's go ahead and move on to the couple of things that I got I just thought they were really exciting so I had to share um first up is the Becca and Jacqueline Hill champagne glow palette now normally I don't fall for or go for like the holiday collection-y stuff um, or you know like that I don't know I just I don't know but I, I really really wanted to get this I had wanted to get the champagne pop um, by itself and never did I just I couldn't get myself to buy it I, I just I have a thing like I have so much makeup I don't need more I don't need to fall in the trap of buying more especially if I don't need it and can't really afford it so anyways um when I saw that they were coming out with this little limited edition holiday palette I knew it was the perfect time to get it because I had my gift card to spend and also um, I liked the idea that I could try three different shades um, you know in one and rather than buying a full size of something that I probably would never ever use up so I'm always a fan of getting kind of minis or holiday collections of minis rather than paying like so much more for one you know I just I that's that's just me but so anyways I did I get I did get the palette I'm really excited that I, I got it I have used it already several times I used it in my Halloween look if you guys follow me on Instagram you might have seen my puss in boots um, makeup look and I use mostly this like all over my face it is yeah it's beautiful so I am excited that I got it I'm excited that I get to try the champagne pop and it's really beautiful um, I posted photos on my Instagram and I do plan to post post some photos on my blog like of it on my face and stuff like that but um, I did really quickly just want to put it on on camera I'm just gonna do like a mix of these two. Oh man just to show it on camera oh it's so pretty I love it Yes, beautiful. Give me that lip lip highlight I love. Mm-hmm. So there's a quick peek at what it looks like on me, the mix of the two, uh, pearl and champagne pop. Really, really pretty. I'm sure you guys have all seen it though if you guys watch Shacklin Hill at all. So anyways, that is one thing that I got. I was very, very excited about getting. And then the next thing I got is really exciting. I got this um, Sephora Favorites Perfect 10 bag. Um, this is was $50, but it's $171 retail value. And I'm going to get into everything that's in here. But first I want to mention these two products just because I probably will forget or I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm just gonna mention them really quick because one was a birthday um, thing. I believe this is the birthday thing. Yeah, I wanna say it is. Anyways, I like I said, I had my gift card from my birthday and I never end up going in for my birthday or getting anything for my birthday. And I, I was talking to my sisters when I was in there and I had mentioned that about not getting my birthday um, little gift thing. And they're like, oh, well you can have it now if you want. And so I did, I got it. Uh, so it's just two NARS lippies. Um, oh yeah, it says happy birthday, one year bolder. I love it. Um, shades, and they're really pretty. They look like this. Let's watch them really quick. I don't see the shades, but maybe it's on the box. That's what they look like. Oh, you can barely see the pink one. But really, really pretty, kind of glossy-like. What are they? 
What are they? What are they? Um, satin lip pencils and then a velvet matte lip pencil. Okay, cool. So that is something I got. So obviously this one was a freebie for my birthday, but I'm um, still wanted to share because I thought that was cute. Um, and then the other one was a point perk, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, this is a Bite Beauty limited edition little kit. And... I really like Bite Beauty stuff, so I thought it was really exciting. You get a little mirror, which I don't need to blind you guys, but it has little kisses on it. That's upside down. And it says Bite, which is so cute. And then it has, ugh, I haven't even tried these yet. I don't know why, I just had them sitting here because I was like, gonna film this, so I'm kind of silly like that. But um, we got Curroyal. I don't know, it's a lip gloss, it looks like this. This is a really pretty color. It's like a really pretty berry color. Ooh, smells good. Okay, looks like that, this one up here. And then we got a little lippy. This is in the shade Kier Royal. Same thing. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's K-I-R. And just like a little tiny little guy. So, so cute. I have a little tiny thing like this before. I've gotten a little one like that before in like a little point perk thing before. I really like the little ones, like I've already said. I like the little samples. Um, it gives you a great opportunity to try something, you know, without the commitment of the full price of the full size and stuff like that. But that's what that looks like. Okay, so moving on to the Perfect 10 bag. This is... Beauty Sampler, Bold Lips, Contour Cheeks, Full Fringe, and more. Earn a perfect score with 10 of our top-selling beauty essentials, including 5 full-size favorites. So, it comes in a bag like this. Let me pull it out. I have actually opened it up and everything and used several of the products, um, but I just wanted to put it all back in here to show you guys. So, the bag's a really cute, metallic-y, gold bag. And then, the items you get will kind of go through a little bit quickly so I don't make this video too long. I know I'm running out of space on my card, but um anyways, you get a Formula X nail polish in the shade Astronomical. Which is a very nude polish. I don't I don't know what I think about it, but very cool to try a high-end nail polish. Um this is the only thing in the kit that I wasn't like happy about, but I felt like it was still worth it to get. Um even though I wouldn't use this, so I'm probably going to give this away, but this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana um, perfume. Um, it's not awful, but I really don't like it at all. But if you know me, you know I'm, I'm very sensitive to perfumes and scents and very picky. I usually only do body sprays, not perfumes, so I'm very picky about the scents. The other thing that I will not be showing in here is the uh, Their Real uh, Mascara, which was just a deluxe sample of it. And I gave that to my sister. She said she, she was shopping with me and she was talking about how she needed a new mascara. And I was like, I have so much mascara, I do not need any more mascaras. I have so many tubes of unopened mascaras from a variety of different subscription boxes and all that kind of stuff. I was like, I don't need more. I was like, here you go. <laughs> I do really like that mascara. I've tried it before, but I didn't mind giving it up to her. Um, the next thing was a full size, and this is the uh, Kat Von D uh, ink liner in the shade Trooper. So it's a full size, and it's actually really amazing. And why am I saying actually? I mean, of course it's really amazing. It's Kat Von D. The next thing is a Smashbox Lippy. This is in the shade B Legendary. Oh, no, that's just what it's called. <laughs> B Legendary Lipstick, and it's Magenta Matte. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. It almost looks like a, it's a pink, but it's like a purpley pink, kind of. I don't know, well, magenta, I guess that would make sense. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch it down here. Ooh, it's really pretty, oh my goodness. Yes, I have not even worn that yet or tried it or anything. First time swatching it even, that's really pretty. The next thing is a Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. It's the Base Hydration Hydrating Primer. That is kind of a mouthful. Um, and I'm kind of excited to give it a try. I have been coming around a little bit to primers. I don't really typically like them. I've said this so many times before, but um, I've been coming around a little bit to some primers. So I'm excited to kind of give it a try. The next thing I was really, really excited about, I mean, not super because it's, it's a small one. I would have loved if this was a full size, but I mean, that would have been a major deal. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I've tried this once before, like a deluxe sample size, actually, or even that would have been good, like the $14 one you could get like at the front of Sephora. Um, but I was just still glad to get it because I really like this makeup spray, but I just, I don't want to pay $30 for it. 
and even 14 or 16 or whatever it was for the smaller version is, is quite a bit, um, a lot. So the next thing is the Tarte the Sculptor. This is a um, like cream um, contour stick. I was excited about this too. Um, it looks, let me, the shade's not like, it's a nice shade. It's like not too orangey. It's very nice and cool tone. I have tried it twice now. Um, and I, I want to like it. I like, I like it, but I'm just, I suck at cream contouring. Like I really, I don't know. I feel like I blend it too much to where I blend it completely off my face, but I feel like if I don't blend it good enough, it's going to look like just lines on my face. It's so weird. I'm just not used to cream contouring at all or cream products at all. So I'm not a huge fan of like cream products, but I want to become more into cream contouring. So anyways, I was excited to get that and give it a try. So I'm going to keep playing around with it and see if you guys have any tips for cream contouring or using like the contour cream sticks, like let me know, leave a comment because I'd love to have your tips or if you have any videos or anything that you recommend, let me know because I'm I want to give it a shot. So um, the last two things are very exciting also. We got a beauty blender in the uh, bag and I was really excited about that because, and this is actually the first thing that, that caught my eye that made me want to get this little kit um, because I've always wanted to try a beauty blender but I've never wanted to pay for one. <laughs> So, I mean, $20 for this little itty bitty thing is ridiculous, especially when you guys know I love my real techniques. Beauty sponge, it's really great. I have tried one that I did a review on from like Jacob. It's like a Amazon shop and that's still quite expensive. It's still a little bit cheaper than this and I love that. Um, and so anyways, seeing that it was in this and I would get the opportunity to finally try the, you know, amazing beauty blender the original like I was very excited about that so I have not used it it's still nice and clean because I want to show you guys but I will be using it. I'm going to give it a shot I'm going to see how it compares if it's really worth the money or not um I'm not going to do a video review or anything of it I'm just for my personal self going to see um but either way I'm I'm still excited to to get it in the bag to try it and anyway so I'm rambling and the last thing is this NARS shadow I believe it's a shadow let me look on here so while you work. <laughs> yes, okay, dual intensity eyeshadow in Himalaya. So yeah, it's an eyeshadow. I want to say that this is a full size, I think. Does it say if it's a full size? I don't know if they say like if they're full size or not, but anyways, I think this is a full size and it's probably like super expensive, like because it's NARS, but I'm excited to have gotten it. So um, it looks like this. I'm going to swatch it. It's really pretty. I actually used this um, shadow once already before. I'm running out of swatch space here. And it's really, really pretty. Of course it is. Um, I still probably wouldn't buy one full price or full size or anything like that, but it is really pretty. Let me. So here it is up, up close and personal for you and all the other swatches like crazy. Oh, anyways. And there's what it looks like. It's really pretty. So so anyways, overall, a really, really great Sephora favorites bag pick. I am very excited to have gotten it. So thankful that I had like these gift cards to be able to spend money on myself. I've been trying not to spend money on myself lately, but um, I definitely think this one is worth it if it's still available in your area. I don't know if it's available online, but I know there was like a ton when I went to Sephora at my Sephora, but I live in a small town and so I don't know how many beauty junkies, you know, like me there are around, so that might be why. But if it's still available, I definitely recommend it. I totally think it's worth the price. And I love when Sephora does their little favorites, you know, bags like this of collections. So you get to try a variety of like the really best selling products for like a really great price. It's such an awesome deal. So I definitely recommend it. I think it's really cool. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini Sephora haul and felt as excited as I was about at least the favorites thing. Well, and the Jaclyn Hill thing. So <laughs> I'm in a really goofy mood today, I guess. So I'm going to be done. I am ready to go have something to eat. My stomach's growling and my throat's starting to get dry. So that's it. I'm going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and um, leave a comment letting me know your favorite thing or anything you recommend. Also, the tips about the contouring. Let me know. I want to hear from you guys. All right, that's it. I'm out now. <laughs> Much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes.
Hi baby babes, I'm Maria aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am doing a swatch video of several of NBA Cosmetics pressed matte shadows and a few of their pressed silk effect shadows. Thank you. 